to another edition of Making Sense, Digital Dove, Zachary, Moneybags, Greenberg, or whatever we're calling them. All right, today we're going to actually show how to use uh, our fantastically technical Robinhood account, which apparently is like playing a video game, according to Mr. Zach. So uh, I'm now logging into my Robinhood on my computer. Uh, I'm going to share my screen so you see what it is. And uh, here we go. Okay, so here is my Robinhood account. Now, I'll just try to make my way through this. We got my portfolio, which has what? I have one share. Oh, so uh, when I signed up for Robinhood, I got one free share of stock. It was actually pretty fun to make it like a video game on the app. You press a button, it scrolls. And I got this CPRX share. One it's share. Pretty expensive. Six bucks. That's solid. Yeah, it was a $6 share of stock, which I got for free. Um, I had put $500 in my account, and that's it. And nothing's really happening today. We uh, see right. if you if you scroll through the graph, it kind of I guess shows a timeline of your portfolio, what it is. I have five hundred dollars in buying also, power. You can like one week, one month, three months, and like it'll show. Different. Right, yeah, you could click, but based on a week, you could pick a month, a year. Right. So this is yeah. basically uh, a view over time of your uh, Robinhood portfolio. Um, yeah. And it showed your buying power, like how much money you have to spend, like above. Buying power is basically how much you could spend. Okay, so I can't, even though it says I have $506 here, here it says 500 Why is that? Because. I, mean, I know, but I would love you to explain it. Yeah, if you, technically, you own one share of that CPRX thing, so you could sell it, and then you would just get the money. But you right now put in 500 bucks, so that's just your buying power because you haven't put it in any stocks. And when you sell stocks, then your buying power goes up because it goes up. So even though even if you own a particular bunch of stocks and whatever, and your portfolio has like a thousand dollar value or a ten thousand dollar value, your buying power is only the actual cash on hand. Exactly. Meaning if the money is actually in a stock, you can't use that to buy. OK, so uh, what are we buying today? What are we doing? What do you want to do? <laughs> so, I mean, over here, you could see Robinhood gives you a lot of suggestions on like what different categories to look at. OK. IPO access is actually a pretty cool one, but let's go into that later. Um, 100 most popular is definitely a really good starting place. You could just see their favorite 100, like the 100 most popular stocks in Robinhood, I think, that people own. Okay. Oh, wow. CPRX is in there. Interesting. Oh, so it puts it puts the stocks that you actually own at the top of the list. So you could see that, I guess, right? Or honestly, I think it's. Any if any of your stocks are in the top 100. Oh, then, then they're, they're going to jump to the top. OK, yeah, I don't think it's all your stocks. I think it's only the ones that are in the top 100. OK, and then we got Apple here. Yeah, of course. And you have a watch list on the side. Um, it's called my first list. And you see the plus sign next to every stock by Mar like right next to. Yep. the. So you can click on the plus and I think it adds it to your watch list. So if I wanted to add Apple to my watch list, I would just like click here. Okay, yeah, here we go. See, now it's on your list. On my list. Okay, and hit save changes. It's going in my first. Oops, going in my first. It already list. is in your oh, list. It already is in my list. Okay, Ooh, hang on. All right, and then I can close this. Now, I'm going to add AMC just because that's one of the things we've been talking about, this AMC thing. Okay, I'm going to add it to my first list. Hit save changes. Yeah. And here we and go. Now, in my list, where do I see this? Well, now you're in your list. You just click on my it. list. Okay, cool. So I got AMC. I got it has some other stuff in the list. OK, um, I didn't put these here, but it did. I think what they a, have some automatic ones. Yeah. I mean, these are basically like some of the biggest stocks in the stock exchange, I would say I would say yeah. pretty much. But okay. I, I find this very helpful. Just any stock that if you read a news article and someone mentions and it mentions a stock, just put it in your list just to keep an eye on it. OK. If Is there any other way to view lists other than like this? In, in terms of, I don't know. There are different views here. I see. Um, I see my first list. What is this stuff? This is delete my first list. Uh, analyst you, ratings. You could do. Law. Uh, these are different, are different ways to kind of sort it. I guess. Basically yeah. What it is. I see. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, all right. Now, how do you I use this? Run the, the leaf, and it takes you back to the home in the top left corner. The leaf. Oh, by the this way, this is also um just disclaimer. This is on Robinhood.com on the computer. The app is similar, but it looks a little bit different. The layout. Looks a little, okay, yeah, but we can't really share my screen on the app as easily, so we're gonna just gonna do it here. Okay, 
So now I got my five hundred dollars to do something with. Uh, how do I go about? Let's let's do something. What, so, what first of all, what do you suggest I buy? Pick something. <laughs> how about let's well. It's right now. It's Saturday, so the stock market's closed. So you're you're not allowed to buy any stocks right now. So what if I did something now? What would happen? It would oh. put it. It would put it on a waiting list per se to be filled in on Monday. You could try it because it's not going to go through, and then you could just cancel it. Like try and buy one share of Apple. Okay, that and that's what you would suggest, right? Apple's definitely a good stock. We don't have okay. to go through with it actually, but. You know, there's no re so I want to do I want to do buy Apple. OK, I want to invest in dollars. My amount is I don't know. Well, how much is my amount? I would do one forty five. I would what, honestly, I would do it. I would switch from dollars to, to click on the dollars so you could buy shares. Oh, I see. So I want to click. Ah, that's great. I want to buy one share. OK, estimated cost is one forty four ninety five. Now, there's no commissions or anything like that. I'm not paying them a fee to do this. No, I, I think that Robinhood in real time is not necessarily giving you the best exact price. Like right now, it says one forty four point ninety five. Maybe it gets filled at one hundred and forty four ninety seven. OK. You know, and if they keep doing that with millions of dollars, it adds up. I got it. I got it. So so that they're they're basically their numbers that they're using are not exactly real-time numbers because they build in for themselves their profit. Yeah, okay. I, honestly, sometimes it does fill in the exact number. Okay. There's definitely some stuff going on behind I'm this. hitting review order. You're placing a good for a day market order, one share of Apple. You're open after the market opens, basically, what you said. Okay, good. I'm yep. going to hit buy, and bam, and I am done. Now it's pending. Wow. Now it's pending. Okay, so I'm hitting done. Now, if I go back to my home page, what happens here? I have, I see my oh, buying power is in, in your stock. Okay. Yeah. Where I see my stocks, it's showing here that I have, I mean, it's showing me the Apple information. I don't actually have it yet. That's why it says zero shares, but then zero there's shares. Stock. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was really easy. It's almost like playing, literally, unfortunately, like playing a video game, which is, I guess, the, what they were going for here. Yeah. Correct. So you can check out some cryptos if you want. You can click crypto. Right, Robinhood so only has seven cryptos, which is not even there's thousands. So, so if, if I not, hit crypto. Yeah, I think in a in a different podcast we'll go we'll show some better crypto apps. Okay. Like, so I've been hearing about this Dogecoin like crazy lately. Not yeah, if you want to buy a worth of Dogecoin. Money. Um so should I buy one? If you want to buy you maybe want to buy a dollar's worth, whatever. Okay, so now the value of it right now is about 0.23 cents per share. Per coin. Per coin. Okay, so it's a share is a coin. Okay, wait, crypto wallets are coming. What does that mean? I think that means they're going to give you like a credit card or some sort where you're able to go to, let's say, AMC movie theaters is going to start allowing crypto purchases right? ah, so you yeah. can then use the crypto that you buy in robin hood to actually do things right. okay so now buy those before you place an order you need to review an updated user agreement okay review agreement i'm just gonna say yes like everybody else always does to these things and just <laughs> down to the bottom have you ever read one of these ever 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 no okay me neither okay so I want, i'm gonna again switching in buy in doge and you want me you said i should buy one right. coin but yeah, if you want to buy five, ten. Right, let's buy. I'm gonna buy ten. Let's let's make it actually worth something. Oh, two dollars and thirty six cents. Okay. Should I buy like a hundred? If you want to go for it, uh, I have I have a few thousand of them. All right, so I'm gonna buy. If I buy a hundred, it doesn't straight. Wait, actually. So hang on. Now, if I would, if I try to edit back here, it's not gonna allow me. So I'd have to hit edit. All right, and then I can up it to $123, review order, submit This buy. is going to go through now because the crypto, unlike stocks. Crypto is all 24 hours a day, basically. 7 no, no holiday breaks. Okay. Always so this is like really easy at this point. I mean, I literally have no idea why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, which we'll get into in another show, but the I actual don't... mechanics of doing it seem pretty easy now. If I go back to my arrow, and here we are, I'm at. Um, now it's, now, see, before it was stagnant because 
the market was closed. But now that you bought some crypto, but now that I bought some crypto, it's going up and down. Ah, that's what's happening. I understand. So yeah. during the day, if I were to go in like on Monday afternoon, this will be going all over the place. Maybe. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because because like the Apple shares, I'm sure have a lot of movement up and down, even in fractions, but they're going. Um, OK. Do you want to scroll right now? You see stocks. If you scroll down, you can see your crypto, I think. No, to the right oh, side. Oh, to the right? Yeah. I'm only seeing stocks here. Yeah. Um, my list. Oh, crypto watches. I uh, Well, it's watching Bitcoin. Where do I see? Why do I not see my crypto shares? Scroll down a little bit. Go back to the crypto section. Hang on. If I scroll down to the crypto, it just shows cryptos to watch. Maybe add Dogecoin to it. Edit list. Well, maybe I should put Dogecoin. Can I put it in the stock list that I have here? Like my list? I don't think it's a stock, so I don't know if it's going to be there. Okay, list. So hang on. Let's see if I could do crypto. Create list. Oop, I spelled it wrong. That would be great. All right, so let's edit. Let's actually look how to do this. Edit the list. All right. I think you got to maybe click a range list. Crypto. All right, I'm going to save it. And uh, now I'm going to edit the list. What's in it? I don't oh, think there's anything it. in it. I think it, go to the top left section where it says search. Uh-huh. Now just search Dogecoin. D-O-G-E. Okay. And now uh, click. Click on the right, maybe click on the three dots, I think. How do you get it to go? Next to sell Doge. Sell Doge, limit that's order. Nope, it. that's not it. That's okay. just, oh, add to list. There we go. So I'm going to add it to my, oh, that's how you do it. Okay, crypto list. I added to oh, and there it says list. it there, your equity. On. Yeah. So now when I go back to my homepage, uh, here we go. My crypto list shows the Dogecoin that I own right here. So I got my stocks. I got my cryptos. And there you go. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It says you have a hundred Doge, like you bought mm -hmm. in a price. And I already lost um, like two cents, I think, in the last five minutes or something like that. You can't, you can't play a short term crypto. <laughs> crypto, no, definitely not. Um, all right, anything else you want to show quickly? So, it's we're not gonna go into how to do it, but could I could I show you the buttons to press how you would do an option order? Sure, let's do it. So click yeah. on let's say Apple again. You, you know. You can... So we're gonna go to Apple. Okay. And instead of buy app, click on the, the down arrow. Yeah. Okay, so this is some interesting stuff. So limit order, you wanna click on it? I think this is, you're able to set a price which you wanna buy Apple at. So this is like, this is helpful for two things. One, maybe you think Apple's gonna go down and you wanna buy it at a lower price. So you can put in like $140. And then it only fills if Apple dips to $140. Will it notify you, hey, Apple's at 140, we're buying, or it'll automatically yeah, yeah. happen? You should get an email, and okay. it, you're, I should say. Or you could put it higher if you're playing a trend game and you know, oh, if it hits a certain line, then it should go up even higher. So you want to buy it at the start of that line if you want to play it like it. that. And then okay. you can click stop loss order. So there, you, this, let's say you had one share. You don't have a share yet. But let's say Apple, if it hits $130, you want to just cut your losses before it drops even harder. You think so that's basically an automatic sell. The other one's an automatic buy. This is an automatic sell. It's a great way of putting it. And then it okay. says expires, like how long you want it to last for. All right. And then what about stop limit order? Ooh, that one's a little, that one's a little, okay. That's like a combo of both. Okay. So it's basically, if it goes to this high, I want to buy it. If it goes this low, I want to dump it basically. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that one, but it's yeah. Okay, trailing stop order. What's that? That works. that's that's also. Uh, I've never done it. That's something that if someone we should definitely look into that more. But I think that's something where you're you're selling based on the percentage, not necessarily the the dollar. Price, the percentage. Yeah. Okay, recurring of investment. So this is where you could constantly buy, like, buy. like maybe the S and P five hundred. If you want to look up SPY, it's an ETF which we said is a com combination of a lot of different stocks. So if you want to just put your market in, in the S&P 500 ETF called SPY, that's a good investment just to keep buying every month if you want to just put some of your salary in that. Oh, okay. So this, these are all basically automated tools that you could use within your account to kind of get yeah. stuff happening without having to sit here and watch it all day, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do options on the app. I'm not, I didn't 
Do you want to try one more time? I'll try and see if I can find it on the computer. On the app? Yeah, on like oh. my phone. Do you want to you want to click Apple one more time and I'll see if I can find it? Okay, hang on. So I'm clicking Apple. Because that was all different kinds of markets stuff. Uh, scroll down a little bit. No, these are just statistics and news. Yeah, I'm not click on the arrow again of the buy Apple. I don't know why it's not giving you an option to buy to, to buy option. Maybe maybe your option. account maybe your account just doesn't let you yet. Okay, we could look into that. Uh, yeah. All right, this is pretty fascinating. Quick uh, tutorial on how to use Robinhood online, and uh, that's that. All right. Fantastic. Digital Dove, Zach Moneyback Greenberg. We really need a name for you. I keep making a new one up every time I introduce you. I <laughs> uh, hope you had a great time on our show, and we'll uh, see you at the next one. Bye.